Okay, we're going to learn how to determine if an inequality is true or false. And it's really easy, and there are two quick methods, the divide method and multiply method. Uh, and the divide method, just want to point out that a fraction bar is also a divide operator, it means to divide. So it, I'm going to carry down, bring down this inequality sign, and on the left side, I'm just going to type in 2 divided by 3. You can do the long division. That's fine. And I'm going to go ahead. It's 0 0.6 repeating, but I'm going to extend those 6s out because we'll need to compare it with the other uh, reduce. So 13 divided by 19 is 0 0.68. I'll go out three numbers as well. Well, they both have the zero in the ones column, the same. They both have the six in the tenths column, the same. So now we're at the hundredths column. We have an eight and we have an six. So this side is larger because eight is larger than and this side is smaller. So two thirds is less than thirteen nineteenths. That's true. Uh, the other method would be the multiply method. And if you guys will think back to pre-algebra, when you would compare, say, two fractions to each other with an equal sign to determine if they were equivalent fractions, you would cross multiply. 4 times 1 equals 2 times 2. 4 is equal to 4. Okay, 1 half is the same value as 2 fourths. Well now in inequalities, you're going to do that same process. You're going to bring down, down that inequality bar, uh, I'm sorry, sign, and you're simply going to cross multiply. On the left side it becomes 19 times 2. On the right side it becomes 13 times 3. And then either long multiplication or with a calculator, 19 times 2 is 38. 13 times 3 is 39. And then look at this one is really easy to see. 38 is less than 39. Therefore, 2 thirds is less than 13 nineteenths. True. And you could do that with, let's say we had uh, 0 0.51 uh, is greater than. Um, Twelve, twelve twentieths. Notice we have a decimal comparing to a fraction. So what you're going to do, leave it in the decimal form, and then with your calculator, do twelve divide by twenty, and you get zero point six. Since this is to the hundredths, I'm going to put this. Well, we can just stop right the, at the tenths. 5 is smaller than 6. This is the smaller side. This is the bigger side or larger side. So 51 hundredths is not larger than uh, 6 tenths or 60 hundredths. So you would say false. That's all there is to it. It's that easy, guys.